So the first thing I need to do is take a photograph of the hydrangea plant that I want to work on. So I'm going to use my digital camera and I want to get pretty close so that I don't get any of the other foliage around in the photograph. Now it's not going to be entirely possible but I want to focus in as much as I can right on this uh, particular plant. So I'm going to zoom in, use my zoom a little bit and hold it pretty close to the plant and take my photo. And then also I'm going to pick a leaf but you might also want to use a leaf as part of the sample as well. So as you can see, the life force in this plant is very depleted. We transplanted this plant about three to four weeks ago, and it's been looking worse and worse over the last week. I've been giving it water pretty much every day, every other day, uh, the entire time, but um, I'm getting concerned that it's actually not going to make it. So I'm going to put it on the agricultural program, and then we'll see how it turns out. Go up to print. I want to print one standard. So I say OK, and now it's printing. And out comes my photo. And there I have the photo. Now I place it inside of a glassine envelope. Now there's no ink, so it's not wet, but I don't want to get my fingerprints on the photo. I'm going to turn on the SE5 1000 says clear cell please wait so wait until the cell is clear before you put your sample inside Then I slide the photo into the cell all the way until it stops and I'm going to use one of the main programs so I press enter stick practice initial test subtle balance and my agricultural alignment program so now I say enter if I wanted an auto or manual and I wanted an auto so I press enter again find out how long I want to balance each one of the tunings, I dial up from zero and I get 15.8, so we'll go up 15 and go up in half second increments, then say enter, the amount of delay between each one of the tunings, I get 2.4, so I'll just say 2, enter, and the number of cycles. Let's see how many cycles I need to run this. And it's going to take quite a few, basically 20 cycles. So I need to press up the up arrow until I get to the number 20. And then I'm going to set the amplitude on 50% because this program has both positive and non-positive tunings in it. And then I place it in the balance mode and then I press enter. And now it's balancing the first tuning plus 8535155 acid alkaline. And it'll wait the amount of time that I programmed it to wait, and then it switches to the next one. And now it's balancing a line energy 9062554. So we'll let this balance, and we'll come back and see how we did. So I let the agricultural program run until it was finished through its complete number of cycles. And I went out this morning to have a look at the hydrangea plant and this is how it looks now. I don't really have to say a whole lot. I think you can see the effect that it's had with just one balancing over uh, a period of a few hours. And look what it did to the plant. Now how do you think it would work if you used it on yourself? This is how the plant looked two weeks later. You can see it's still healthy and vital and growing and all I did was run that one program one time for a few hours. Now depending on what the nature is of the plant you're working on and what it's suffering from, this may not always work just running a general program like this, but it worked on this plant very, very well as you can see. Now if your plant isn't responding, you might need to go in and do a detailed analysis to find out exactly why and then balance those specific things that you find are out of balance and create your own custom program for that plant. This is another experiment I did with the SE5 Plus, the predecessor to the SE5 1000. I had two groups of seeds, 
One group of seeds I used the SE5 to balance or potentize first before I planted them, and the other seeds I did not. I just put them directly into the soil and let them sit for 28 days. After 28 days, I took them out of the soil, and here is what they looked like. When I transplanted the plants, I put them into lava stone into a hydroponics garden. The hydroponics garden was fed by a fish water, and the plants then became the filtration system for the tilapia fish, and the fish then provided the food for the plants, and this is how it turned out. Ludi Larson of Little Farm Research writes, P.S. July 1985. So far our production has been amazing. In fact, we took video pictures of the plot because it was so unbelievable. At the time of this writing, seven spaghetti squash have produced 80 fruits. Each potato plant we've dug has 15 to 18 pounds of potatoes, many of which measure 9 to 10 inches around with no hollow centers, and the cherry tomatoes hang in huge grape-like clusters. I attribute the vitality of the plants and the pests and disease-free conditions of the garden to one of the more controversial methods in agricultural research today, radionics. As you know, Ludi Larson and Little Farm Research have pioneered many, many uses of the SE5, the SE5 Plus, for over 20 years.